Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here. And today we're going to talk about opening up um, and hydrating that um, interosteous membrane that lives between our radius and our ulna and our forearm. So the radius is on our thumb side and the ulna is on our pinky finger side. Um, so this is really important that this is hydrated and these bones can really move around each other well for supination and pronation. The, um, this rotation actually happens at and in the forearm, not at the elbow, not at the wrist, but through these two bones rotating around one another in the forearm. And so if we're very stiff and rigid in this area, then we're not going to have that optimal um, supination and pronation. Now, this is an exercise that I was taught um, by Trina Altman, and it's just one that I go to all the time. So we're going to be using the wall, and you have a blanket underneath your armpit so that you have purchase for your upper arm, your elbow, and your forearm. At first, I make a fist, and then I'm going to put the ball maybe in the middle of my forearm. Now, for most of us, we're going to have more tension closer to the elbow, or we're going to have more <laughs> sensation spots closer to the elbow. But it's a good thing to do three spots in the forearm. So close to the elbow, right in the center, and then closer to the wrist. Let's go actually closer to the elbow first. So you're going to place the ball on the wall. You're going to um, create a good stance with your leg so you have leverage and you can really lean into the wall. And then I'm going to loosen my hand and my fingers and I'm going to start to do that little ironing forward and back close to my elbow. Take a few deep inhales and exhales and really try to relax and release into this. So you can hold on a pinpointed area releasing the face, the jaw, and the pelvis, and then start to make a fist and open. A fist and open, just a couple of times. And then you can go back to that little bit of ironing around that area. And then maybe bring the ball to the center of your forearm, right? And start that little bit of ironing back and forth, trying to soften through the palm and the fingers as much as you can. And then decide on a sensation spot. And again, do that closing and opening of the hand. Now, a really important one not to miss, but sometimes it's hard to study the ball, is closer to the wrist, right? And then adding that pressure inward and that little bit of ironing forward and back. And then deciding on a spot and adding that um, fist and opening with that continued pressure into the ball. And remember, as you're doing any release work, um, yeah, we wanna soften around the spot that we're releasing, but we wanna be our first person expert and we wanna release above and below the ball. So we have to pay attention to how we're talking to our head, neck, shoulders, pelvis, legs, and feet here as we're opening our forearm. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.